Am I the idiot for not telling my husband's family that I speak their language? My husband Peter, 29M, and I, 27F, have been married for about three years. We have one child together and I was pregnant with our second. I'm Western Canadian while he is from Germany. We lived in Canada for a long time, but because of inflation moving back to Germany, it seemed like a better option for us. We bought a nice house in Hanover where Peter's from. The day after our flights to Germany, we all visited Peter's family. This was the second time I have seen them. The first was at our wedding. They greeted us and brought us inside of the house, fussing over my son. We had dinner and soon we left the house, wanting to settle into our new home. We visited Peter's family often for the next few months, but I'd started to realize that they would sometimes speak about me in German. They would make rude comments on my hair and makeup, question my fashion choices, and overall were just very unkind to me. They also said mean things about my pregnant belly, which I was already insecure about. I ended up talking to my husband about this. I told him that I didn't like the way that they were treating me. I said that I hated how my every choice was judged. He told me that he would talk to his family. The next time that we went to his parents' house, there were no more mean comments. For about three months, it was like nothing ever happened. I gave birth to a perfect baby girl that we named Lilith. Peter's family was very upset when they heard the name. If you didn't know, Lilith means ghost or of the night. We didn't pick this name because of its meaning, but because it is a name that every girl in my family has had for many years. My middle name is Lilith, along with my mom's, my grandma's, and even my great-grandma's. For a while, I didn't visit my in-laws. I didn't want to hear them talk about how I shouldn't have named my daughter Lilith. But yesterday, we saw them again. It was my mother-in-law's birthday. As soon as we showed up, things started to go badly. Everybody wanted to hold Lilith, which made my M.I.L. upset because people weren't paying attention to her and made me overwhelmed. I didn't want people holding her. I was going through a pretty bad postpartum depression, and it was still pretty early to see people. I let people look at her, but declined when anyone asked to hold her. During dinner, I heard my SIL talking to my MIL in German. I heard her complaining about how she couldn't hold my baby. My SIL even had the audacity to call me, and I quote, a fat, ugly, hokey addict. I turned to my SIL and Mill and told them off in German. I basically said that I have always known what they have said about me, but calling me names was the last straw. I also mentioned how I have known German for almost my whole life. The table instantly blew up. People were yelling at me because apparently this was all my fault. I left with Peter, and we haven't talked to them since. Am I the idiot for telling my wife that she needs to get over me, missing the birth of our daughter? I work in a job where there are certain times that I do not have access to my phone or I, I am in the middle of nowhere. These times are well scheduled in advance and basically take up my whole day. There are a ton of safety regulations I have to follow during this time. My wife was pregnant, and at the time, I planned to take off work near her due date. Unfortunately, she went into labor early, about a month early, and I was on an inspection. I only learned about her going into labor when I got signal again. By the time I got to the hospital, she has already given birth. This was about a 1.5 years ago, and I am involved father. The issue is, every single time we have an argument, she will bring up, I missed the birth. It happens almost every single time form. Serious arguments to what fast food should we get? Today was my breaking point. We got into an argument about her wanting to change the daycare situation. She wants to change daycare to one closer to the home. I do drop off and she does pick up. The only one closer to our home is too expensive and we cannot afford it. In the middle of the argument, she pulled out, I wasn't there for the birth again. I told her she needs to get over that and stop using it in every fucking argument we have. She called me a jerk and left. Ata? Am I the idiot for naming my son the name I had always planned even after my brother and sister-in-law stole the name? My brother and his wife has as much right to name their child, whatever they want. I do not own my name. I have no right to dictate to my brother what he names his kid. With that in mind, my husband's has a traditional family name that I love. Basically, since he and I were dating and started discussing our future, we agreed that our son would have that name. Oisin. My husband is Irish. Not in the Boston my great-great-great-grandfather came over in the 1800s kind of way. In the born in Galway kind of way. Neither my family or my sister-in-law have any other connection to Ireland. She got pregnant right around when I did, and her son was born two months before ours. They named my nephew Oisin Miguel. I did get upset or anything. When my son was born, we named him Oisin Daniel, like I had told her we would be doing. She has flipped out that two cousins will have the same name. She is nuts, because our family is Hispanic, and half of our cousins are named Carlos or Camilla. She's trying to insist we call him by his middle name or change his name. I told her to piss off. My mom is staying neutral, but she was very surprised that my brother gave his son an Irish name he knew I was planning on using. She expected him to name him for our late father. Anyways, my husband's family thinks the whole thing is hilarious. My family thinks my sister-in-law is a weirdo, and 
She thinks I'm an idiot for copying her. Whatever. I'm posting here and sending her the link so she can see outside opinions. Next story. Am I the idiot for refusing to wear a skimpy maid outfit to an exclusive party my friend got invited to? So I live with my friend, 22F, and she recently met a guy at a beach party. She's pretty much obsessed with him because he comes from a well-known, well-off family in the area and has a certain level of status associated with him. She told me they were sort of dating, and obviously I've been supportive throughout it all, as a friend. However, I've met him a few times, and I don't exactly hold favorable opinions of him. I didn't tell my friend because I wasn't fully sure of my views yet, and I didn't want to be negative. Anyway, he's throwing a party soon and invited my friend. He asked her to bring me along too. He said it was a themed party, and that everyone would be assigned a character style to wear. He sent my friend a picture of our outfits, two skimpy-as-hell made costumes sprawled on a bed. I immediately told her that I wouldn't be wearing that shit and especially not to a party with a bunch of strangers. Initially, she thought I was kidding, but then understood that I'm serious. She said that wearing these fits isn't a big deal at all and that I need to stop being so prudish and serious. I told her that it is very humiliating that this guy thinks it's perfectly fine to request two women to wear that to his party, like you're seriously asking two girls who are clearly not as rich as you to dress up as maids to your party. I asked her if she seriously sees nothing wrong with it, and she said no. She explained that he just has a weird taste and that it might be a weird rich people thing. And I told her again that I will not be wearing some skimpy ass maid costume. Not only is it embarrassing, it is especially disrespectful to me because I don't have any sort of meaningful relationship with the guy. And yet he thought it's appropriate to include me in this request. I told her that I won't be wearing the clothes, won't be going to the party, and will from now on avoid her new BF altogether. We had a massive argument and she said that I'm lame, boring, and not a supportive friend. She said that instead of helping her, I'm ruining everything and being a killjoy. And when she fed back to the guy that I'm refusing to participate, he even asked her if getting paid for it would change my mind. That made it even worse. Apparently he told her that I have the right attitude, which makes no sense as I've been combative all this time, and that his friends would love to get to know me. The f I'm just getting angry typing this. I was pretty upset and told my dad about the situation. The party is tomorrow night and my friend decided to go alone and she's not really talking to me, RN. Am I the idiot or is she? I feel strangely very guilty, even though I'm standing up for my boundaries. Ata?